Hey guys, and welcome to Under What, a short visual novel slash comic book about a fisherman. Okay, so we got ourselves an old man sitting at a pier. He's dozing off, but he has already caught some fish. Oh no, he's fallen off the pier. Get up, open your eyes. I know you're not dead. Hello there. So you are the- so you are at the bottom. One more time. So you are at the bottom one more time. However, you are no stranger to this. It's you again. I think it's fish in here. You look excellent. How's the family? You look excellent. I'm very grateful. Sorry, but something nasty is stuck to your head. Oh, right. It's your face. So, we will just stand here waiting, wasting time for chit chat. I see you can't wait to start. You don't say. At first, you will ask me three questions. After that, I will give you three answers. And then. Then I'll ask you a question. Only one. By the way, you have already wasted your first question. Is the best biting. You know what? Yeah, let's go all aggro. Where is the best biting? In the place with lots of fish, obviously. Thanks. It helps so much. Always at your service. Aren't you sorry wasting your attempts? I don't give a shell. Well, last question. Yo, tell me what you want. Why are we here? Hmm. Why are we here? According to the legend, the first old man who speaks to the fish will ascend to the throne of the Sea Kingdom as the Great Crab predicted. Did you just make this up? Yes. But I'll count the question. This city is so old and elegant. Just like you. That's a compliment. I mean old. Okay, never mind. Yep. They say you witnessed Megalodon. Ahem. Maybe you finally ask your stupid question and leave me alone. Oh, yeah, right. Who are you? You know this very well. I'm a simple fisherman. You are starving for a long time. But you have never touched the fish you caught. Even when you had absolutely nothing to eat. Hmm. 
What would you prefer? Being able to fly, but to live under the ground. Or, being immortal, but sleep forever. <clears throat> Both options are meaningless. However, you are given a choice. Oh, be able to fly but never do it, be, to be immortal but sleep forever. Well, the last one, because it just mean that I'm dead. It wouldn't matter. But the first one it sounds cruel. Freedom is primary, even if it is illusionary. Illusory. So what now? Nothing. I'd like to end this conversation on a philosophical note. But you screwed up even here. Follow me. I need to show you something. Where are we going? This place is full of seaweed. You'll see soon. hook. Fish was swimming in the river. It was caught by hook of silver. In the name of great sea, make a choice and you'll be free. Uh, pull the hook. Oh. Get up. Open your eyes. I know you're not dead. Huh. All right. Hello there. So you are at the bottom one more time. However, you are no stranger to this. Oh, something is wrong. Uh, it stinks fishy in here. People don't smell better, you know. Ever had to smell smoked people? I totally don't recommend it. You won't be pleased. I think that we've... We have already talked about something like that. Some Magustra is happy in... Was... And now I'm a fish being fried. I look more like a shark, to be honest. The end. Okay, number one, the art was super pretty. Number two, I'm not happy. Let's let's do that again, but this time I'll go up to the surface just to see what happens. I mean, to to be frank, I feel like I'm already dead anyway. Like this whole thing. Perhaps I am in a dream. And it's because I am immortal. I am the immortal man. Get up. Open your eyes. I know you're not dead.
Hello there. So you are at the bottom one more time. I am indeed. However, you are no stranger to this. It's you again. How is the family? Hmm. The family is just great. Did they taste well? Try with the tartar sauce next time. So we will just stand here wasting time for chit chat. I see. You can't wait to start. You don't say. At first, you will ask me three questions. After that, I will give you three answers. And then... Then I'll ask you a question. Only one. By the way, you have already wasted your first question. Uh, aren't you afraid to die of... Eligma? Aren't you afraid to die of Eligma? Very funny, nerd. I don't actually know what that is. I'm vaccinated. Aren't you sorry wasting your attempts? I don't give a shell. Well, last question. Yo, tell me what you want. Yo, tell me what you want. What you really, really want. I wanna... I wanna... Enough! <laughs> Not a fan of Spice Girls? This city is so old and elegant. Just like you. I mean the old. Yup. They say you witness Megalodon. Ahem. Maybe you finally ask your stupid question and leave me alone. Oh yeah, right. Who are you? Let's go with... a teacher. You know, I'm a teacher. But where are your students? Admit, after everyone had left, you never opened a book. Do you even remember what the blackboard you used to draw me on looks like? Hmm. What would you prefer? Being able to fly but to live under the ground? Wait, so I did read this correctly last time. But to live under the ground. See, because the first time around I was like, this doesn't seem like a bad choice because just because I live under the ground doesn't mean I can't fly. But then later on, the choices he gave is to be able to fly, but to never be able to. Which is completely different. Or... Being immortal, but sleep forever. Both options are meaningless. However, you are given a choice. Let's go with to be, um, to be able to fly, but never do it. The main thing is that you don't get to the surface and never see the birds. So what now? Nothing. I'd like to end this conversation on a philosophical note. But you screwed up even here. You know what? F you, dude. Follow me. I need to show you something. Where are we going? This place is full of seaweed. You'll see soon. The hook. Fish was swimming in the river. It was caught by hook of silver. In the name of the greatest sea, make a choice and you'll be free. Go to the service. I'm ending up 
right back to the bottom. I don't like this. Gonna try again. Do it again. They say the true sign of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. One more time. Dang it! Fine. I pulled the frickin' hook. But I won't be happy about it. Open your eyes. I know you're not dead. So you say, but I question that. I just noticed these little eyes floating in the background. What's watching me? Hello there. So you are at the bottom one more time. However, you are no stranger to this. Something is wrong. Hmm. You look excellent. I'm very grateful. Sorry, but something nasty is stuck to your head. All right, it's your face. Ha 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 I think that. We have already talked about something like that. Something strange is happening. What's... Um... This is the logo from the beginning, too. So I guess this was Little Fire cooking up a pan. The end. Great. Thanks, Dan Gertman. Under what? Under the hook. Under the... Under... Under the frying pan. Hmm. The fisherman was asleep. He caught fish that he never ate even when he was starving. What's that supposed to mean? So like... What does it mean when a starving man refuses to eat? Well, he just sounds depressed to me. And then in the question and answer where he said he was a teacher, but he never picked up a book after everyone left. Again, he just sounds like a very lonely old man. And then he fell into the water, and I, I originally thought that was a, a metaphor for him just falling, just dying, basically. He is old after all. And then there's the fish that's always mocking him. Hmm. All right, well, some things to think about. This was uh, interesting. There's another game by Anna Pur Pur Purna? Pur Anna Purna or something like that? Uh, called about a, a raven thing that came out recently. That was also sort of a, a storybook type game, but I think this one is much better than that. It, it feels less uh, it feels like there's actually some thought into it which is a little insulting to the other game but uh, the other one felt a little shallow I'll flash up the title you know somewhere around here um, but I it was pretty good I like the art too thank you Dan Gartman for sharing it with us and until next time ta-ta for now